Hey, mom. So tell us what's happening around here because uh, the neighbor just called and complained like they heard the noise from your house. It's a <laughs> Coffee, right? <laughs> I know I like to get this stuff every time when I feel like my energy level are down. And he told me to boost me up. So, <laughs> what's good, everybody? Welcome back to ABD Umbrella Vlog. It's been a while, guys. I've been kind of occupied. I'm glad to say that I'm back and. I'm going to start with introducing to you through this amazing advert which I've just made for Yamba product. For those of you who have followed me on my Instagram page, at ABDU Mbelele, I'm very sure you've already seen the one about biscuit. But I'm not only going to talk about the biscuit one, I'm, all this, I'm also going to talk about the juice one because I made two adverts. The one it was about biscuit and another one was about juice. Yeah, I had, I had quite a challenge to create this advert because I had to get creative from time to time and there are some ideas which I managed to execute them. There are some ideas which I failed, of course, and there are some ideas which I managed but they didn't like them. So I'm going to show you the behind the scene of the entire process and I'm going to show you among one shot which it was an amazing idea but end of the day um, they didn't like it. So guys, enjoy. Cheers. Say hello. Say hello. What is say hello? <laughs> Yo, what's good, everybody? Save you and very back to the vlog again. Today, we're going to see the behind the scene of the product shoot, which I'm going to be shooting right here. And as you've seen over here, there's already a set. We have a Godox right right here. And we have the Sokani light right there, the one which I've told you about. Uh, the Sokani light is uh, going to brighten up the background, which is the green screen, by the way. Because for this specific shoot, I'm just going to be removing the old background and replace it with another background. And the Godox is the key light to highlight this. So as I'm continuing with the, all the setup, Joy over there is copying a file from her computer because she's going to be capturing this little bit of behind the scene as we continue shooting. <laughs> and end of the day, we're going to share this um, outcome with you guys, of course. So yeah, it's kind of uh, tricky. First of all, as you see, I have a notebook and a pen. I have to be writing down the checklist of all the shoots which I want to shoot. So as to be sure, I won't forget any kind of shoot when I'm shooting. And yeah, it's time to get crazy and creative. So yes, let's enjoy this. <laughs> So currently I feel kind of stuck because I have to think of ideas. I am going to try to look at different videos and see what they came up with and maybe I could come up with an idea. It's not an easy thing because uh, you have to create an idea before go to post-production because the idea is the one which is going to save your time. It's n <laughs> there's no easy way to go around this. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out right now which ideas so I can keep noting them down and I can start to shoot. That's what's up. So challenging part is that uh, we already get an opening shot because I was trying to shoot an opening shot and of course we pull it off with the light coming in while the boat was spinning and thanks to Joy, uh, she <laughs> did come in handy, <laughs> she really did come in handy to pull that off but uh, right now the challenging part is I just need the shot whereby the bottle will be like in front and the other bottle behind it and then the other bottle will move out while the in front one stay at the same position and that is kind of a trick shot and that is going to be actually the closing shot so i don't know how i'm going to pull it off but definitely i have to pull it off so i'm going to start this trials cheers okay guys this is the trial number one i think we're going to do like 10 trials i don't know <laughs> okay wait i'm pushing the cord and Let's go. Nice. Oh shit. And that's the problem now. Uh, yes. We have to read it. No, no, no. Uh, let me teach you how to put it. Stand right here. Mm -hmm. Hold it here. Okay. So, all we're gonna do is on the bar, up to the tail, and she's cutting up. Oh shit. 
Sasa ni kitu. I think ni tokoe ni hapa. See? Okay. Yeah. something like keep it up. Be holding it. Kama ni vuta. Na naenda kwa pili. Ni Okay. See? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> shit, shit. I am super exhausted right now because uh, I just noticed the entire time I was shooting by using the green background and for some reason I didn't notice and this is actually I can say I don't know what to say but this is actually <laughs> unprofessional I didn't notice the bottle was green and I have to redo the entire thing I am exhausted <laughs> but yeah, Joe is making fun of me, but no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just there sitting, I am making fun screaming. of me. Screaming! We have to start this thing all over again, yo. As in, I'm telling you, my. <sighs> I'm dying out here. I'm <laughs> dying. So after doing the shoot until now, and the time now is 9.17. 9.17, yeah, we did the shoot and we just get bored and tired, we took a little break. And as you can see, I was teaching the process of lightning to her, like how to combine the different light, like here is a purple <laughs> and here is another light. <laughs> so, is it in focus? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so... With all of that right now, we're just going to finish the last, last shoot. And I think this is going to be it. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this amazing YouTube uh, channel for more behind the scene like this. And right now, the video is not yet uh, out there. But by the time you are watching this, I know it will be ready. So here's the actual video. Enjoy. Among the ideas which I wrote down back then and uh, they didn't accept it but it was kind of challenging to me and I enjoyed to create it was this one whereby I had to make a biscuit like it's coming from this all kind of dust and coming back to life. It was a challenging idea because I have to note it down before and I, I had to sit down and think about how I'm going to skip this shot. First of all, I just captured the continue photography as I start with the wool thing where the biscuit was yeah, still like good in shape and then I start to crack it down little by little by using a knife and I crack it down until I got this dusty but later on when I come to edit I combine them as time lapse and then I rewind it so it starts from dust going back to life that was a very good shot which I shot and yeah look at it because you'll never see it in the video cheers <laughs> I would like to give a special thanks to Joey McKenna because she was there with me uh, from the entire process of shooting until I finish it. And also I'd like to thank my big brother Ose Greg Sinare because he also contributed in some of the shots, though I didn't record behind the scene for that one. But yeah, uh, what I'm trying to say is that this usual project, they never be easy because some of clients will see like, you just deliver the final product and think like, this guy is a magician. But nah, guys, it take time and Trust me, there's nothing easy when it comes to any field, not only photography, even other field, because everybody is expert at what they do, and that is what they've specialized in. So, guys, just respect people's work, and guys, all the way positive, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and stay creative, guys. Cheers.